So y'all, I, I felt like I needed to let the public know because a lot of people, my fame with music started when I made the camo song. And I will say that ever since me and Marcus split, I had a grudge towards him. I did. And I kind of still do because what he did to me impacted me in so many ways. You know, the apartment, the rent, everything. And he never realized that until now, whenever he sees all this stuff online about him, about what he did to me. Um, but the thing is, is that the months are going by and Soon I will be back to normal with um, the housing being added on to it if they will let me um, be on the program again. Um, it's just that what I've learned in this experience is to never let a man that you barely know, that you fell in love with, let you move in instantly and do something like that. But the thing else is, is that I've, the reason why I've held a grudge towards him is because he knew every single thing that that would have done to me when he did this to me. That's the thing that, and the thing is, is the number one reason on top of this, of why I don't like Marcus at all, and I still don't, to be honest, but I do forgive him, is because when that incident happened that night with that friend, I told him alone, I said, don't be surprised if you see an obituary over me. He didn't care whenever I said that at all. He didn't give a shit. In me, in my eyes, when a lover, when a, when a lover shows that and shows to me that they don't care like that, because Alex did it too many times. That's when I have an issue, and that's when you're done completely. So I just felt like I needed to let that out because a lot of people don't know the full story of this breakup because it impacted me more than it did to him. He's just living back at Mama's house and living off of her with the two jobs that he has now and have the car. You know, he doesn't have an apartment by himself. He's not taking care of himself by himself in an apartment like I am. So, yeah, he really did do some shit to my mind and everything. But did he ever say sorry? No. And that's the reason why I do not like Marcus to this day. It's because he hasn't done this only to one person, including me. He's done this to many other people that I know that he's ghosted to as well and done this to. But me, I'm the, I'm the most one that was hit out of all this. That's the thing. And I do forgive Marcus because I'm a good person. But do I want to hang out with him? Do I want to see him? Do I want to talk to him? No. The only reason why, I want, why I'm talking to him right now is because I want my stuff back that he took that night that that happened. I want my stuff back. That is the only reason why I'm talking to him right now this moment. So I just felt like I needed to let that out because a lot of people don't like me because I make them so I made songs about Marcus. But what you got to understand is, is that I make music to cope through my life, through my stories. This is my writing and my music. Remember that before you judge or want to file a lawsuit on me because there's a bunch of crap that I can file a lawsuit and sue him for and that friend and many other people that were in this situation. So I wanted to let that out. Good night, y'all. But the key in all of this is, is the boyfriend that I have now. He has really helped me. But at the same time, the only thing is that I haven't let him in fully. And that's the only issue that we've been facing is, is that I... I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just so, you know, so much, so much stuff has happened this year and I'm just at a point where I'm burnt out, but at the same time I'm getting better slowly. That's the thing. And that's what I want everybody to realize is that I am okay. I'm going to be okay. It's just going to take some time. But what he did to me was not right at all.